Welcome to this video on radioisotopes, in particular the radioisotope iodine-131. Radioisotopes are radioactive isotopes. Each element has different isotopes, each which have the same number of protons but opposing numbers of neutrons. An easy way to remember this is as an unbalanced amount of protons and neutrons contained in an atom. The radioisotope iodine-131 is used for many purposes, one of which is in medicine. It is used to treat an overactive thyroid as well as thyroid cancer. The reason why this treatment works is because the only cells in the human body that can absorb iodine are thyroid cells. Iodine-131 is commonly taken in a capsule of a standard size, but can also be taken in the form of a drink. Iodine-131 has a half-life of 8 days. There are two types of radiation released from iodine-131, which are gamma radiation and beta radiation. The beta radiation can only travel a few millimetres out of the patient's body, enabling it to selectively kill the most overactive thyroid cells. The gamma radiation will have died off and be insignificant after around three days. There are many advantages of iodine-131 therapy. Firstly, if the treatment is successful, the thyroid should start functioning as normal and reduce chances of cancer spreading. People having iodine-131 therapy will have their dosage calculated carefully in relation to their body weight and levels of cancerous cells or thyroid overactivity. As mentioned before, thyroid cells are the only cells which can absorb iodine. This allows the treatment to work effectively on only the targeted cells and cause no harm to any other part of the person's body. The side effects of iodine-131 therapy are very little, however pain in the salivary glands and a dry mouth are known after effects. Pain caused by these can easily be relieved by simply sucking on lemon lollies. Also, there, are no, there is no surgery or lengthy hospitalizations necessary. Of course, there are disadvantages to iodine-131 therapy too. The estimated calculation of each individual's dosage may be either too little or too much. If the dosage is too little and the treatment is not fully effective, another dosage of iodine-131 may be necessary. If the dosage is too much, the thyroid may begin to underfunction. If this happens, there are medications to keep the thyroid working. After undertaking iodine-131 therapy, changes may need to be made to the person's daily life for some time so that they have minimal contact with the people around them. This is because the thyroid gland will contain high levels of iodine-131 and it may be harmful to expose this radiation to other people. For the same reason, pregnant women cannot receive iodine-131 therapy as the high levels of radiation may cause harm to the unborn baby. <clears throat> the reason why the positives of using this radioisotope outweigh the negative simply comes down to that the results and effectiveness is very high and consistent if calculated and used properly. There are no nasty side effects, surgery or long hospitalizations needed and treatment dosages can be personalized depending on each individual's needs. I hope this video has enhanced your learning about radioisotopes, iodine-131 and its medical uses. Thank you.